do today? Well, at least with one orchid, I finally get to dig in. Thank you very much for being here, my first repot of 2022, and I am well excited because finally I get to dig my hands into whatever is going on in this pot. This is Prostechia rasabole. She has never ever bloomed for me. And today we're going to address her copper intoxication that I did. I almost killed this orchid because of my copper treatment because I received her with black spots like these in the mail that then started to spread also to the new growth. And then I went a little bit heavy handed on my copper concentration and I set the orchid back considerably that all the new roots that were coming out of this new growth here, they perished, which was very unfortunate because they looked divine, delicious. Oh, they looked great until I messed it up. I was very concerned about these spots. I got these spots to stop progressing. They didn't spread any further, but I did a lot of damage to the orchid. We're going to address these spots today as well, seeing as it's going to be easier when she's out of the pot. I have the gardener playing with his toys in the background. I'm going to do my best to edit that out, but I can't wait. I want to go in. We've got new roots. We got a lot of cleaning up to do, so let's get to it. So I would like to film her from this angle because she is rather big and it can be a bit cumbersome while I'm working over the top of the tripod. I do want to have a second camera angle going that's filming from the top, but I don't have the mount system that I can use. So there's things I'm planning to do, but you know, needs must this way first. And I hope that everything is going to be in focus. And thank you so much for keeping me company. So the reason I want to go in, even though there is no need to repot this orchid, she's got plenty of room in the pot, but... It is possible that there's copper residue on the leka inside and the new roots, I don't want them touching that. Oh yes, there's quite a bit of death in here. And I didn't soak her to begin with because the new roots are not that long. I've got some branching ones, which is great. And it is only 14 degrees, so I'm going to do my best not to over soak this orchid. She's going to get one real good soak when I pot her back up. I want to show you my gentle repot method if you don't know about it. And she's got some resistance holding on to the microfiber in there. But I do believe that those roots are dead, so I'm just going to keep pulling. Oh my word, yes. Oh, <laughs> copper residue of the highest order. Yeah, we're getting in there. We're going to clean that up. Oh, new pot, fresh pot, fresh start. Oh, this makes me so happy. What a relief. And here you can see the copper on the old roots. Oh, I am so glad we can do this today. It might be a bit chilly, but this is as good a day as any so that these new roots get a chance so they don't get affected. And these brand new roots coming out right at the tip of that new growth. Oh, oh yes, let's do this. Let's get her cleaned up. Now, tickle, tickle, tease. The only time I'm going to be super gentle about all this is when it comes to repotting. Right now, I can be quite aggressive. I don't have to worry so much. See how much I can get out. Okay, there's a bit of rust. That's unusual. I normally don't get rust from my supports because they are plastic coated. So we'll have to look at that and see what's going on there. Probably the amount of copper at the bottom of the pot affected where the wire is cut. Yep, we'll just cut that back. I can reuse this. Hey! And I am not going to be chopping off anything of, out of this orchid. I'm going to keep that suitable. This orchid needs all the energy to recover. And I'm also going to be really, really focused on cleaning, as in even if I chop off some new roots, let's say damage some of them, I'm okay with that. I want this whole orchid to be super, super squeaky clean when she goes back into the pot. Now I'm not going to go all ninja on the new roots, of course. I'm going to try and do my due diligence and keep them protected, but if I make a mistake and do get into some of the new roots and cut them off, I'm not concerned 
my biggest, biggest concern here is to rid this orchid of any kind of copper that damages any further progress that she's trying to do right now. And that means being radical on the old roots. And if there's copper on new roots, I'm going to have to be kind of radical on those as well. Because I'm not sure how much is going to be like flushed off of the velamen. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy about this. Finally, finally. You see what I mean? I've got branching right here, but I cut that off because it's right at the back. So I'm, that's what I meant when I said I'm not going to be too fast if I have to take off some new roots or branching roots. The intention being to get her cleaned up. Let me show you this. Boy, did I learn a lesson in 2021. Yikes. Do you see how badly the copper was in the entire root system? Yuck. And that is why all these other root tips here had to come off as well, even though they were starting to branch and everything. That was just not going to last for a very, very long time because every time they were then to get into the copper, we would have a problem. So now I'm going to rinse her off. This is what I'm left with. And normally I would use more of the root system for anchoring. But again, this is about getting her as clean as possible. And here are root tips that have touched copper. And they have failed. But we're going to do our best to get, even if the other ones here don't continue, these ones right here, even if these don't go and continue and do well, I have backup right up here. And that is my main point of interest. If this were summer, I would absolutely have no problem going all ninja. What I'm trying to do here by keeping the orchid upside down is to avoid as much of the water getting into the crevices as I possibly can. I'm not comfortable with it being so, so wet on a day like this, but I want to get off as much of that copper around any velamen that I can, and especially around the base of the orchid. So it is risky, but you know, it's the lesser of two evils, I would say. Right. The next thing that is the easiest to do as well while she's out of the pot is to cut off all the leaves that have any spots on them because it's going to be easier to get cinnamon on the cuts. Ugh, that's too much of a leaf. I don't want to get rid of all that. The idea being just dunking the leaf straight into the cinnamon.
right, we're all set. I used two microfibers. Panaricas are extremely vigorous, big root growth, very abundant. I know it didn't look like that, but that was the copper. But I've also bumped the pot up one size because I am not going to be doing this again in a year's time. I want her to grow, settle down, leave her alone. She's had enough. <laughs> so we've gone up a pot size, two loops. Lekka is down. My support is in. And now I'm going to add water as far as I can to give her the gentlest, the gentlest of repots I can provide her with because I don't want any of the lecker bumping around and abrasing her velamen. So doing it this way makes it so much easier for the lecker just to gently fall and disperse itself in the water using that as a buffer. This is plain RO water. No seaweed, no nothing. I just want to get her in, get her settled down. And I also wanted to show you the water and how it's going to now settle the lecker very, very gently. When I put seaweed in, it kind of muddies the water, literally, and you can't see the effect of the gentle, gentle repot and how the lecker just settles in nicely, covering the roots, embracing them, and not bashing them. And it also fills the holes much better, the gaps in between the lecker. Getting an orchid out of a pot is already quite, quite tough, especially with hard media like leca, stones, or pumice. There's already a lot of abrasions when you get an orchid out of the pot. Trying to do a gentle repot like this will also at least protect the velamen a little bit more if it has been bruised or bashed. Now, with a little bit of a shake and a jiggle, we'll raise her up just a tad. I don't want her up so high. I am already anticipating spring and I want her to be nice and low where there's lots of humidity around the base of the pot. Let's check this out. You're dead. I missed one. There we go. And then this one can go as well. And this one. Right, so I have her in the pot and I'm going to keep filling around with more lecker. Right, so a little bit of the reservoir will be full. Not much. It is still winter after all, and it's going to stay that way for a while. So here are the measures I have taken. Normally in my setup, in my climate, being hot, dry, not much humidity, I have no issues burying the bulbs in the back here. But the time of year has to be taken into consideration. And for that reason, I picked out all the lecker that was settling around the back. The front, same thing, it's wet and it's humid enough. I want the roots down here to actually find their way into the lecker. So I've left a little bit of a hollow so that I can monitor them, watch them before they disappear into the media. Seeing as my pots are not clear, I'm going to get myself a little bit of a root fix. <laughs> On top of that, I have chopped off all the leaves. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do this. Oh, she needs something to photosynthesize with, something, right? So anyway, I've chopped off the majority of the leaves that have the black spots on them, even though they weren't spreading anymore. Again, it is still winter, it is cold, and my goodness, if the cells were to collapse and then get wet and soggy, boy, I don't need to invite that problem. So I've taken drastic measures here. Now, what's left is to leave her standing here, even though it is kind of a cooler day, but she has a lot more airflow in this little alleyway right here so that she can dry out. The sun is trying to come out. That's gonna be a bit of help, but 
for the time being, my Panarica Brassavole. She has been cleaned up and I'm hoping that this growth is gonna be nice because normally I should then get a second growth out of her during the growing season of 2022. That would be awesome. When I was cleaning her up, I saw a hint of an eye down here. Ooh, that would be great if she would give it a go. Meanwhile, Copper victim, I don't know, number 10, 11, 12, I don't know, is trying to bounce back. Pot is clean, we're ready to go. And thank you for being here. I hope that you're not ready to go until I say goodbye to you, but thank you very much for being here. Really appreciate your company. You know, sometimes these repot videos, when I get too excited, too ahead of myself, I remember that I'm filming and that slows me down. So I do it right. Thank you for being here. Your time is appreciated. Any questions, anything at all, even just say hi, even if you don't have questions, the comments are there for a reason. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.